Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I just want to quickly show you how to downgrade your iPod Touch second generation. So as you can see in front of me, I got the 16 gigabyte iPod. It's running 2.2.1 right now. Just quickly jump into settings. And as you can see, this thing is running so ridiculously smooth. So I'm on 2.2.1. And basically, you're going to be able to downgrade to iOS 2.1.1, 2.2, and 2.2.1. So, it's up to you to choose. And so, I'll just show you how to do it. So, first of all, you need to update this boy to iOS 4.1, 4.2.1. So, just plug it in over here. So, cancel. So my home button is broken. So later on, you're going to see why that's important. But I have made a video on that where I show you how to get in DFU mode with a broken button. So the first thing we're going to do is update the iPod. So we update that boy and I'll see you when it's done. So just click next, agree. And let it download the software and hopefully it don't take 25 minutes so yeah see you when it's done I'll speed up So now stage one has finished, the iPod will reboot and be on 4.2.1. So this should be very quick. We set it up and then we'll downgrade. So now, as you can see, the iPod has booted up, and yeah, so so I don't know the password right now. So can close the iTunes for the moment. And now as you can see this boy is updated to iOS 4.2.1 So now as you can see iOS 4.2.1 right here And now we'll begin with the downgrade So first what you need to do is take the iPod, open the iTunes and go on option restore iPod it will be shift on Windows and oh sorry for the focus so now we gotta go to Red Snow open go on extras so that's only for me because my home button is broken. Other than that, you will have to go into DFU mode with iRev. So, even more, DFU IPSW, okay. So actually, you need to download the IPSW from here. IPSW.me, so as you can see, you can choose. So I got to download 4.2.1 because of the broken home button and for Red Snow it's only a few home buttons work broken so Red Snow is over here you can download it 
I'm gonna put the links down below in the description. So now we gotta wait until this boy has finished, so three minutes. And yep. Look at how buggy IS4 is on this boy. It's it's incredible, I gotta say. Sadly there's no iOS 3 for iOS 3 IPW, so So if you want to see the video of the dog unboxing the iPod is in, I'm going to leave a card right now in that corner, right here in the top right hand. And so in 3, 2, 1, okay it's downloaded. So we go back to Retsno, click on DFU IPSW, download. 4.2.1 click on open and it'll be creating a custom IPW that push your iPod in DFU mode so just waiting for it to build it and you should be I should be good So now it's downloaded, we can close out of Red Snow. Sorry, my phone just died on me, so now we can open up iTunes, click on the iPod, just full screen, and hold Option on Mac and Shift on Windows and click on Restore iPod. So for me, it will be the DFU IPW first. So restore to this and this should be very quick and when this is done we can restore so for you people who don't work where the home button is working perfectly um, you're gonna use iRev I'm gonna link it down below for Mac and Windows and for people like me where the power the power button on top or the home button here is broken they're gonna use the same method as me so build and custom IPSW and yeah so we just let it put in the few mode and I'll speed up this portion as well and see how when it's done peace
So now, as you can see, it says um, the iPod, Dustin's iPod could not be restored. An unknown error occurred 37. So you're gonna click OK. And now iTunes says it has detected an iPod in recovery mode. So now your iPod is in DFC mode. So now you're simply gonna click on option, restore iPod, search for your iOS. 2.2.1, 2.2 or 2.1.1, IPLW, click open and let the iPod restore. So normally this should be good. There's no need to exploit the device with iRev. Of course, if you're using iRev to enter the DFU mode, you'll need to, but if not, it will be okay. So. I'll speed up this portion and see when this boy is all finished, so peace. So now as you can see the iPod has already been restored to factory settings, now it's booting and we'll see the setup screen. So. It's a very quick process, it's very fast, it depends on your Wi-Fi speed and on the speed of your machine, of course. I'm using a 2015 MacBook Pro, so it's pretty fast. Um, the iPod should be all good right now. Yeah, cool. So I just can grab it. Slide to unlock. Just miss that. Quickly jump into settings, general and about and 2.2.1 so I'll do comparison between the iPod touch second generation and the iPhone 3G because they're mostly running the same specs and so yeah this is it um, please comment if you like um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already drop a big thumb up would be pretty pretty awesome and I'll thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.